Hi everyone, welcome back to Box Day. Tracy here. And I've got a little unboxing and a little update for you. Well, two updates to be honest with you. So first of all, I have an update from UK Lash who I applied for a refund due to the fact that the, um, there was a, a dodgy ingredient in their product. And they sent me a very nice email back explaining that there was a very, very small amount of that dodgy ingredient in their product and um, in such minute quantities that it wouldn't um, cause any problem. However, if I did want to return them, I still could. And um, they also have one without that ingredient. So if I wanted to, I could switch to that one. Now, the only thing that um, it may seem like a small amount of the ingredient, but when I was uh, looking into it, the companies that put that in their lash serum put 10 times the amount that is in the pharmaceutical grade medication. So it might be a, a minute amount, but it's still 10 times the amount that they put in pharmaceutical grade. And, and that has been known to cause side effects, the pharmaceutical grade. So I don't feel like, even with their reassurances, that I want to take a chance on it. So I'm still going to um, finish up with UK Lash. Um, there is another brand that I know does not use it. So I may, I may switch to UK Lash, the alternative, or I may get the other one. I may get both and do one trial after the other to see if either of them do actually work. So that's um, the UK Lash. I also purchased this and I was going to do um, a trial on this stuff. It comes from Aldi. You can see there it's got Aldi. And it is their range of beauty stuff. And um, I thought, you know, I'll give that a try. Now, look how small that writing is. There's not any, work, any chance of reading that. This is a tiny little package. And, you know, so I took a photograph of all the ingredients. And right at the bottom here is one called limonene. And that is not a harmful ingredient, but it just so happens to be one I'm allergic to. Uh, recently, um, before Christmas anyway, I had attended allergy testing at um, a dermatologist and the only um, ingredient that reacted in all of the products was limonene. So I won't be able to do this one either. So I'm not doing very well, but it does pay to take a photograph of any of the ingredients in any of the products and just blow up and have a look at that. And some, I mean, look at the list of ingredients. That whole thing is not instructions. That is a list of ingredients. There are, well, a <laughs> ridiculous amount of ingredients in this little tiny pack. So obviously they're not going to be a massive amount of any of those, but, to sit and Google those ingredients to see what they are and whether they're harmful or not, that would take the best part of a day, I think, or well, a, quite a, a long time um, to actually have a look at. But I did, as I was give it a good scan, I did spot that one. So I will give that away um, to somebody who wants to give it a try. Um, so I did, I did make one purchase that is not going to be harmful to me in any way. I'm not going to be allergic to it and it's only going to be beneficial. Um, and I'm going to show you that now. But before I do, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And hopefully you'll be informed when new videos pop up. So this is cool. This is by Brushworks and it is Brazilian Rose Quartz Roller. Now, as many of you know, um, I am in fact derma rolling and I wanted to do this afterwards but you're meant to do this i suppose a couple of times a day night and morning and it helps with lymphatic drainage it's nice and cold the only thing is i have 
I have ice globes that I did actually show and do um, a video on. But after derma rolling, when your skin is red and sensitive, you might not want to be using ice as well. It could be just overload on the skin. But these are cold because they are a natural stone. So I'm going to be giving this a try as well. Now, this is beautiful. I really like this one. You can buy two and use them together like I did with the ice globes. Or you can just do one. But um, yeah, I really, this is cute. I like it. I really do. I'm looking forward to trying this. It's meant to be very, very good. And um, not just for lymphatic drainage, but for also sculpting, helping sculpt your, your natural contours in your face. And I need that quite badly, I think. Because I've had a chubby face for quite some time, um, it will be nice to see more definition. Now the derma rolling is going so well. I cannot I cannot sing its praises enough, to be honest with you. This last couple of days uh, since I had did my last session, I just feel like my skin is so tight. It's so much more firm. And um I can see a massive improvement in the texture and and everything to do with it. So I feel that this would just be the icing on the cake. So I'm going to do this as well. Now, I'm not sure why you get the little digi one. Maybe that's for the eye area, just to kind of, you're meant to not press hard, just um, a little sweeping motion like this. So, um, and then you can, I don't know how many times you're meant to do that, but it is lovely and cold because it's quartz. Um, it's actually, it's like marble, isn't it? When you touch marble, it's really cold to the touch and so I think this is the same um, it is very soothing so as well as lymphatic drainage and sculpting benefits it's um wellness and well-being so what they do say is that with this you go outwards for the drainage for lymphatic drainage like this I don't know how many times they recommend I will uh, brush up on it. I will probably go really red now because I'm touching my face. I only have to touch it slightly and I go red like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> I don't know why. Just just lucky, I guess. So yeah, then you go this way with this. So this is the lymphatic drainage. I'm going to do five in each area for now. And then when you want to... Um, I would do my neck as well because obviously that that is where my scar is. So for contouring then, to get your face contoured, you go up. It's kind of like pushing it up, almost like a facelift, like this. So that's going to kind of help with the, the contours. You can see when it... I don't know if it'll work. Well, I'm, I'm willing to try anything, to be honest with you, within reason. As long as it's not any harmful ingredients in it, I shall try anything within, you know, within reason. I don't really want to be injecting stuff into myself and all that. But um, so far with the microneedling or derma rolling, which they're the same kind of animal, um, has been pretty good so that's the sculpting of course you can do your forehead as well but they do say when you do this only go one way don't come back on yourself you just go one way like this so yeah that's that's it that's my rose and you're meant to just wash it in a little soapy water and then it's fine to go again but that's that's what I'm going to be doing as well as, as well as my derma rolling um, I have ordered some more creams and stuff that I will show a bit later when they arrive. Um, but um, so far, my little experiments have been brilliant. Um, I guess, you know, I could just carry on with the UK Lash and take my chances. But I don't feel like, um, since I know that there's something in there that isn't the best... I, don't, I won't I won't try it um 
I don't know exactly how much of the ingredient they put in, but all I know, the video that I watched listed theirs as as containing it. I don't know how much they looked into the the actual amount, but they did say that they a lot of them had ten times the amount of pharmaceutical grade. So I'm not really taking a chance on my eyes, you know. Um. Anyway, that's my my little unboxing. I've been seeing these things for a while, and thought, are they just are they just kind of like hippie benefits? You know what I mean? Or do they actually give you some kind of real benefit? And they do anything that helps with lymphatic drainage will take the puffiness out of your face. But I, I actually need that because I get it because of my scar tissue around where I had my cancer operation um, and the 49 lymph nodes removed. I can get some lymphedema. So it's actually a, anything that benefits that is um, is good for me. So I'm going to try it and um, it will help be soothing after derma rolling because the last time I did it, it was quite red, but it wasn't sore and it wasn't funny enough. It didn't itch. Sometimes once I've done it, um, I feel like, you know, things, I feel like it's itchy, but it's not. It's just where it's healing. But even though I felt like this, this particular time was deeper maybe uh, or it was certainly bigger um i didn't feel like that it felt great and uh yeah anyway so i'm going to carry on doing that i will be incorporating my rose quartz so they do say the rose quartz are better than the jade um because they do come in jade and rose quartz um i don't know why but they do they say that the, the rose quartz um are more beneficial Anyway, those are my little updates and my little unboxing. Hope you enjoyed that. I will continue with all my treatments and I'll let you know how it's going. Bye for now. Take care.